morning. Uh, right. Uh, another update. <laughs> Everything's ticking over. I've uh, picked up a weirdest of injuries. Um, really not sure what it is. Uh, it feels to possibly be my pec mine on my right side. There's pain in the centre of my pec. There's pain in the centre of my chest where my pec attaches. Uh, there's pain all across my collarbone going under my delt into my trap insertion and there's pain all the way up the side and right side of my neck. Uh, believe it or not, it came onto her after biceps, which is a bit strange. Uh, at first I thought it was going to ease out, so I've left it a week. There's been no improvement, so I'm going to physio this morning, so hopefully they can sort something out. Uh, otherwise, training was going quite well. <laughs> Obviously, this has affected all upper body work. Um, legs are consistent. They're not as hard as I'd want them to be, but uh, they're getting hit properly now every week, uh, and they seem to be responding because of it. <laughs> Food's easy. No problems there at all. Um, holding a lot of water with the heat, and I'm struggling to drink enough. Um, I need to really constantly push to make sure I get enough fluid in. Um, when I do, I don't look so bad, but when I don't, I look like a real mess. <laughs> um, the heat doesn't help me at all. I hold a hell of a lot of water when it's hot. But it'll settle down and sort itself out, so I'm not overly concerned. Um, and really, training-wise, that's it. Everything's ticking over nicely apart from this injury. And before this injury, thing was ticking over really nicely. In fact, I was even starting to get some response on my chest. Um, the other thing, <laughs> the big thing, is the film's released on the 15th. And I got to watch it for the first time the other day. Uh, must be honest, first time I saw it I was a bit uncomfortable with it, uh, mainly because I'm looking at me. Uh, the production is amazing, James Grealish of JG Films has done an absolutely incredible job with it. Um, it's really slick. Uh, anyway, I've watched it a couple of times now, got over looking at me and it, you know I really really like it and I'm really proud of what we've created. It might not be to everybody's taste, and I'm no doubt I will get slagged for this, that and the other. Most predominantly probably my condition. Uh, but you know what, I don't really care. Um, I've done what I've done, it is what it is, and I hope people will enjoy it. For those that don't know, it's released on the 15th of this month, July. And you can download it from www.underconstructionthefilm.com for a whopping price of 9 99 uh, hopefully people are going to enjoy it and if there's enough interest um, never know, maybe there'll be a part two on my next leg of this journey uh, I know people are going to copy it and I know people are going to share it and I know it's probably going to end up getting torrent but you know this is off me and James's back we've paid for this, it's our time, it's our effort Particularly more so James and me. He's put a lot, a lot of hours into post-production and editing and getting this right. And we're not really doing it as a big money-making scheme. It, it, it's more as a extension of what I was already doing. Um, so I hope guys will be respectful. Um, if not, that's your choice. But uh, I hope people will be a bit respectful of the fact that this is a uh, two guys. You know, and, and this is all of all us, all out of our own pockets, and, and you won't try and rip us off by copying it and sharing it and everything else. Anyway, hopefully you'll enjoy it. I'm sure you will, actually. I mean, it, it's different. Uh, you know, there's there's never been this openness about usage and, and, and that amount of usage either, so uh, I think uh, a lot of guys will find it interesting. And it even stars the cat, yes. Um, Mrs. Meep makes a return. <laughs> Only briefly, but she's there. And that's really it. Um, you know... Uh, oh yeah, there was one thing. Um, it's been pissing me off a bit, to be honest. 
um, Herbalife, Juice Plus, Body by V, Aloe Vera Diet and Raspberry Ketones and all this other stuff that's out there. You know, now in most cases, these products, there's nothing actually wrong with the product. You know, I mean, like Juice Plus, for example, it's just a drink um, and the you know, powdered form or tablet or whatever it is these days. And um, it's a mixture of vegetables and fruits. So there's nothing in it that's going to cause you any harm. But it's not this miracle weight loss drug that everybody keeps harping on about. I mean, I meet, I've i met a lot of guys that sell this shit. And their own motivation for selling this is money. Nothing else. Money. You know, they're pulling, in some cases, five grand plus a month by selling this stuff. And it, it it's just a con. But my biggest beef with it all is people selling this shit that haven't got a fucking clue. I had some guy the other week try and tell me that Body by V was the only protein in existence that could be fully absorbed by the body. What a load of fucking bollocks. The fact is, with 99% of this shit, it's placebo. It's because you think you're taking something that's going to drop fat off you. You, con you subconsciously alter your diet and your health your lifestyle. You exercise more and you lose weight. And then you put it down to the product. It's not the fucking product. It's you. Have some faith in your own bloody abilities. You know, there isn't really a fat burner on this planet that you can buy over the counter legally that's going to be what it says it is. If that was the case, I could take this shit, sit on my ass, play fucking FIFA, eat pizza and end up with a six-pack. And trust me, if that was the case, I would be taking that shit. You know, even the illegal ones, though potent that they are, require diet and exercise to make them work effectively. Even DMP, for fuck's sake. I mean, I've used DMP and it did absolutely fuck all. In fact, I put a pound on. Um... You know, and I did everything I was supposed to do. I was training hard, I was doing cardio, reduced, no carbs, low, very low carb diet, brought the protein down as well so the body didn't compensate. And I gained a pound. But the bottom line is, with the over-the-counter stuff, all this shit, it's you that loses the weight, not the fucking magic potion. You know, people just have no faith in themselves anymore. People have no faith in their own ability. We don't believe anymore. And I mean, it's been proven, proved time and time again about the placebo effect. Uh, as some may be aware or not, there was an experiment at Ajax um, Stadium. The Dutch got pissed off for the Brits coming over and kicking off and fucking wrecking a joint and battering all the Dutch. So what they decided to do in this match was run a little experiment. They banned all alcohol. No alcohol was allowed in. Everybody was searched. They served alcohol, or what people thought was alcohol, at the bars in the ground. It was, in fact, alcohol free, but they didn't tell anybody. And lo and behold, after through the match, the English kicked off, wrecked the fucking stands and battered the Dutch. And when they were arresting the English, they were acting drunk and claiming to be pissed. And it was, they were being told, you're not drunk, there's no alcohol. There is, I've drunk ten pints, I'm rat arsed. And they weren't. There was nothing. But they thought they were. And it's the same with this shit. If you believe in it enough, it will have an effect. It will affect the way you act. It will affect the way you work. So why don't you take that belief in that stupid fucking product that costs you 50 whatever it quid is a month and put that belief in yourself and you'll be shocked at what you can achieve. Anyway, <laughs> the, uh, here ends today's life lesson. <laughs> um, right, that's really it guys. I mean, I, honestly it is. Um, I'm pretty busy at the moment with other stuff. I've got a really busy month of work uh, and then August, hopefully touch wood I'll be going away for a couple of weeks uh, and then it all kicks off in September so I don't think you'll probably hear from me again for a couple of weeks maybe we'll see I think if I've got something to say I'll say it if not I'll keep my gob shut uh, possibly just of how the film launch has gone oh yeah and I got married I'm going to have to about that oops uh, 7th of July uh, to my lovely lady Shoshana Um been long overdue, should have been done a very long time ago, uh, and I'm very proud to call her my wife, uh, she is my rock, my support, and to be honest, with everything I do, none of it would be possible or capable without her behind me. She keeps me on the straight and narrow, gives me a slap when I need one, and I hope when I do too, because <laughs> yeah, even me, I need hugs too, you know. Right, um, 
Take care, guys. Um, hope to speak to you soon, and I hope you enjoy the film.